Hey guys, it's winter. Let's learn how to stay warm in the hip. So the hip has a kerosene combustion heater. And if you've ever looked at one side of the hip and then looked at the other side of the hip and thought, geez, that tank on the side looks a little bit different, a little bit bigger on this side than it does on this side. And if we come up and look from above, it's fairly obvious. So the tank at the back is the fuel tank on both sides. And then the part that extends out forward on the helicopter's right side is the kerosene tank and heater. So this does actually function in DCS. Whether or not it accomplishes anything, I don't know if weather can make your pilot freeze to death or not. I've been sitting out here for a while and so far so good. And the mission editor only lets me set the temperature down about as far as minus 12 degrees Celsius. But the heater does work, so let's go turn it on and have a look. Okay, so in the cockpit, we want to be in the flight engineer's seat. That's three on the keyboard. And we'll just look up and to the right a little bit to the combust heater section just up here. So we've got a couple of different controls for this. We can set it to either automatic mode, where it will hold whatever temperature we've set on this dial. We can set it to manual mode, where we then have either full rate or medium rate, depending on how much heat we want blowing out of there. And then priming mode is used for maintenance, which isn't implemented here, so we don't have to worry about it. And then finally, there's the fan on and off. So if we flip this to manual mode and then press start, we'll get the enunciator lights up here that'll tell us preheat and then ignition and then KO50 working. So now we just wait for preheat. And there's ignition, and you can hear it start to spin up. And then KO50 working. Now we can flip our fan on. And now we have the choice between full rate for lots of heat or medium rate for some heat. Now if we want to switch to auto, we can't just flip to auto and immediately go there. We actually have to turn the system off, wait for it to turn off completely, and then flip to auto and start it up again. And I found that turning this off can take a little bit of time. So we'll flip this back to the middle and then we'll turn our fan off and then we wait and it will take a little while for it to actually turn off. So that back to the middle and there goes our lights so it's not working anymore. And then we set our fan off and we can still hear it and it should shut off within 30 seconds. You may have to toggle the fan on and off a couple of times to get it to actually do that, but you should hear it spool down again shortly. All right, there it goes. It shut itself down. So now we should be able to flip it to auto mode and now it'll hold whatever temperature we set on here. And again, we hit start and wait for the preheat cycle, then ignition and then KO50 working. There's ignition. And some dancing shadows and KO50 working. So now we have it in auto mode and we can just change the dial on here, control whatever temperature we want in the cockpit. So that's it for the KO50 kerosene ignition heater. Like I said, I have no idea if this actually does anything within the sim, but it's modeled and it functions, so here's a video on it. If I missed anything or got something wrong, please let me know. I'll see you guys next time.